Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue's Soulsborne base level challenge. For those of you who may just be tuning in, this means I will be playing through all of the Soulsborne games, beginning of course with Demon Souls and then proceeding to Dark Souls 1, 2, 3, and Bloodborne, and will be completing each at the base level. Now, typically this would be a Soul Level 1 challenge, except Bloodborne does not have a Soul Level 1, so that will be a Blood Level 4. But this is young Silverius, and he has been proceeding rather nicely, actually, shockingly, how well it's been going. But that could very well change with this next location we're going to be going into, because the boss, well, bosses, can prove to be extremely difficult for melee users. No, it is not the Flame Lurker. That is something I am still going to put off, and probably going to put off until such a time exists that I don't have anything else I can do, because I am extremely terrified of a soul level 1 melee fight against the Flame Lurker, but we are going to be going back into the Tower of Latria, beginning at the Fool's Idol Archstone, and we're going to be proceeding through the level and heading to the Maneaters. But before we do that, take a look at the gear, although if you have been watching, nothing has changed in quite a while, simply because, well, we don't have the upgrade materials to really upgrade anything just yet. So we're still using the Buckler plus 5, Wooden Catalyst, Scimitar plus 3, Secret Dagger plus 4, Silver Coronet, Black Leather, Saint's Gloves, and the Black Boots. And then I have the Thief's Ring and the Kling Ring, although the Thief's Ring might go away once we get to the Man Eaters, and I'll talk more about that once we actually get there. And then, of course, if you do want to confirm, there it is. Soul Level 1. Royalty. I have Soul Arrow. I doubt I'll be using it much, if any, in this area, but let us jump right in. Now, we should be able to get Latria into pure White World Tendency, which means we can actually get the key to unlock Lord Rydell's cell back in 3-1. And we may do that in this episode. It all depends on how long this section actually takes us. The church devoted to an idol mimicking the queen gave hope to the prisoners, but the malice behind it will crush their faint solace. This area is not accessible from 3-1 directly. You actually do have to be whisked away by the gargoyles in order to get here. So we've escaped the prison, but we're not necessarily in an area that's any more welcoming. Not in the slightest. But if you take a look, we can see at least one of the locations that we have to get to, and that is right above us. Well, actually, that is going to be the culmination. That is going to be dropped. That's some sort of demon heart. And we need to get to that tower and to that tower in order for the chains to be released and for that heart to drop. That is the goal. So now we just need to go through. Now, there are a number of gargoyles spread throughout the level, many of them statues, many of them not. Many of them not at all, and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to parry them or not, so we're gonna have to play around a little bit with that. Also, there are some places where you can drop off and get some loot, so that is another thing I'm gonna have to very carefully monitor. Looks like we may have our first gargoyle coming up here. Unless he's just going to hang back. You can actually hear the beating of the hearts. Rather creepy, actually. There's also an NPC, Yurt the Silent Chief. I am going to try and locate him to free him. But we'll actually have to see how well we do. Oh, you landed. Alright. I actually want you to come down here. So I can try parrying somewhat close to the beginning. It's a little bit safer if I'm here. That way it's much less of a run back. Hey friend. What are you doing? There we go. Alright, so let's get the secret dagger out just in case I am successful with this. Not quite, but you went over my head, so that's okay. Oh my goodness gracious. Well... Now I know that that is going to kill me. I don't know if I'm even going to be able to parry that because he's flying. That'll be an interesting, an interesting parry if I can. Hmm. Well, okay. Death number one. But this is good. I need to learn whether or not I can parry that. Since my secret dagger is going to be the easiest way for me to actually take out some of these enemies as we start to get further into the game and enemies have more defense and more health, it's very, very important that I can do the maximum amount of damage possible. 
And of course that's going to come from critical attack, so it's just going to be a matter of if I can actually get a critical. Oh, where'd you go? Did you already fly over my head? Oh, what are you... So this is just your thing. You just kind of fly over. All right. Hmm. Well, considering I can't get a backstab, the critical might not happen. Look at how many hits you take, though. Goodness gracious. Hmm. You're not too difficult just because you stun so easily and you have a long recovery time. I'm not enjoying the fact that that takes so many hits, though. And if I get surrounded by gargoyles, then we might be in a world of hurt. So there's the demon heart right there. And that beating is... It's actually rather loud. Also, these gargoyles are one of the few examples in the Souls games of enemies that can fly that actually do fly if they fall off the edge. So many other enemies, including gargoyles in Anne Orlando in Dark Souls 1, if you knock them off the edge or if they fly off the edge, they die. They die, but the, these gargoyles, at least typically, will survive. They'll actually fly because, you know, that's what their wings are there for. Oh, that beating. Much, much louder than I remembered. Alright, some old spice. Good stuff. And then out here, I should have, I think, some upgrade stones. Maybe some moonlight stone. There's some moonlight stone. Alright, I think what I'm going to do is heal up I'm going to focus more on two-handing. If I had more weapon buffs, I would just use those. But I did not see fit to buy more. I might have to make a trip to some merchants in order to do that. Oh, dearie. All right, I need to preferably get behind you. go and a lot of these are going to actually drop soul items not that i need them but i was just talking about buying more consumables so not the worst thing in the world to have some backup souls just in case the inevitable happens okay so in here you can actually get a close-up of the heart so this is one of the locations that'll actually open up once we get that heart lowered or dropped i guess also, I should probably be careful because that was a fatal drop right there. Yeah, that was not a good idea for me to roll through that. Luckily, it was a somewhat controlled. Okay, these look like they're both statues. You, however, are... Crossbow Gargoyle. You're a little weaker than the others, so that's good. Moonlight stone. Even more moonlight stone. Is there anything else here? Let's take a look. Oh, careful. There's another little walkway here. Anything at the bottom of it other than this item, which is just a chunk of moonlight stone? Doesn't appear to be. See, there's one drop off from a ledge like this. And you can survive it to go get. Strava stuff, but I don't know exactly where it is. Hmm, okay. Looks like this is clear for now, maybe? I don't see anywhere else to go. There's nothing down there, right? No, okay. This very well could be an area that in the comments you all are going to have to tell me what I missed. I know I say this in every area, but I don't know it very well, and this can be a very, very maze-like area. So it's important that you guys kind of help me out, and if it's anything that I don't really need, I mean, if I missed a Crescent Moongrass, please don't, don't worry about me running back to get it. But if it's something like armor or gear or anything like that, I definitely would like to pick it up. You can actually see that we're above the heart. Well, right next, actually, we're just below it. But there's all these tendrils. I guess they would be uh, arteries and whatnot actually coming off of it. They're what's blocking our path down below. So once that heart drops, 
a lot more options ahead of us. Okay. Take a look here. So we can go out to the left. That looks like it leads to the first tower where we can lower one of the chains. So I think that would be a good, good next location. Yeah, you guys are unfortunately slow. You realize that. Watch the crossbow bolts. The sound seems to be a little bit delayed with the bolts. Or actually, I guess I should say the action seems a little delayed. It seems like I hear it, and then it appears. Okay, let's carefully examine. That's where we just came from. Hopefully I can roll right back. Ah, the Flamberge. Should be a good bleed weapon like it is in the other games. Now, I guess I should maybe roll this way. Uh-huh. Yep, that works. Good, good, good. So, forward, there's a fog gate. It's not the boss, so I'm not too concerned there. But that is definitely a real gargoyle. You can definitely tell that their, their palettes are a little bit different. Hey, friend. Come on. By the way, in case you didn't realize, Flame Birch is the weapon of choice for the gargoyles. Yep. Where are you going? I don't know why they like to fly back to these braziers so much. Having an upgraded weapon better than what I have would be wonderful. Oh, I'm actually glad I ran. I didn't know that there was another gargoyle here. Where are you going? What are you doing? Are you going to land? Oh, really? We always have to fly back to the center platform. It's where you feel comfortable. It's your safe spot. Okay. Alright. Is it still your safe spot when I follow you with a scimitar? Seems like it shouldn't be. Well, gotta get that renowned, or unknown hero soul. I forgot just how incessant that heart beating really is. Do I walk? Doesn't doesn't feel like I walk there. Maybe I have to though. Or maybe I go this way. Okay, you need to go. You're forcing me off the edge. Oh goodness. Some old spice. Good. I was feeling a little, a little stinky in the pits today. That's not true. That's what a weird thing for me to say. Now, as I climb here, I am going to be ambushed at least once, so I have to be careful. Where are you? Now, that's just the walkway I came in on, right? I don't need to drop. Yeah, I don't need to drop here. <gasps> oh! Controller fail! Or, I should say, input fail. That was That was on me. I'm just going to run back. So what happened was, with the scimitar, if I do up in R1, I do this little jump back. And that just got me killed. It's odd, because sometimes it feels incredibly sensitive. And other times, it feels very, very difficult to get... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. How do I get that item? <clears throat> I don't know, but I already went the wrong way. Okay. So with the Thief's Ring, I should be able to run past everything and they should lose interest fairly quickly. Which is nice, makes runbacks a lot less tedious. Not to mention I was already doing some exploration, so it's not like I even got that far. Really just in here and up the stairs and then over to the left. And we'll be back right as rain. Hmm, that was a bummer. I might actually try the secret dagger. The range is obviously terrible, but at this point, with it being plus four, it might do an okay job. We'll do a quick damage test to see, because at least on a narrow walkway, I won't have to worry about actually falling off the edge. 
Alright, now are you going to lose interest or am I about to be sniped from behind? That is the question. Excuse me, friend. Now hopefully, hopefully, hopefully you're losing interest or have lost interest. But I can still hear you a little bit, so maybe not. Okay. Now, he's going to drop if he hasn't already. Oh, he did. He did. Oh, but I cannot see with these pillars. They're really in the way. So we're doing about 54. 29, okay. It's fast, though. It is fast. I just don't know if it's worth it. I think the scimitar, with the range and the slightly added damage, is going to be better. All right, elevator. Before I actually take you up, I am just going to use you as a platform. Thank you. Once again, not rolling. Trying to be a bit conscious about that. Stone of Ephemeralize, that'll be really good for getting pure Black World 10. And then see later. <laughs> Here we go. I hear the fluttering of some gargoyle wings. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay. And you're still coming. Time to put some distance. Though I don't know how much distance because I don't know if there are another... Gargoyle. Okay. So this is very reminiscent to me of in Dark Souls 3 when you're actually in the Profane Capital. You actually encounter what presumably is the Profane Flame and you have some worshippers surrounding it. Now granted, they're not actually chanting and holding up a giant demon heart, but you get the idea. But, time to deal with them. Because what they are doing is they are keeping that demon heart suspended. So I just need to kill them. Which is very easy with a secret dagger plus four. Actually, it's easy with just about any weapon because they're pretty weak. And then this happens. So the heart is now one level lower. One more chain and he's gone. So once we get pure white world tendency, we're going to have to go back to 3-1, the actual prison within the Tower of Latria. And when we do that, for some reason, a bridge actually appears right here. When that bridge appears, we can continue climbing up these stairs, get to the top, and we'll get a key. And that key will unlock Lord Rydell or Ridiel's cell. There we go. Uh, let's see. Let's go this way. This should allow us a couple more items here. Sure enough. Now, we also have a cage here, and if we take that, it will bring us all the way down, and that is something we're going to want to do, although I don't know if it's this cage or that cage or if it actually matters. They both might go down. There's the heart over there, but this is where I want to head. You can see the prism stones over there. Or the Augites of Guidance, I guess is what they're called. So I need to just be careful. Drop down. Don't roll. I don't actually know if there's a momentum roll in Demon Souls. So I don't know if you can actually fall there. We got some Shard of Archstones. And you're at the Silent Chief. Are you here to fight the demons? If so, then help me escape this place. I am on your side. I have come to face the demons. Here's the thing with Yurt. Maybe he's telling the truth, or maybe in his own delusional mind, he thinks he's telling the truth. And while he says he's here to fight the demons, he might have a very different definition of demons than we do. When we think demons, we're thinking, well, you know, demons, creatures, horrific abominations from some other time and place that have come here to just destroy all of humanity. Whereas Yurt sees humanity as the demons. If you let him out and he heads back to the Nexus, he is going to start killing your NPCs one at a time. I am going to let him out, and I am going to send him back to the Nexus, but as soon as he's there, he's going to have to go away. Forcefully. Where, where are you going? Do you just wander around? Also, take a look at his armor. 
and take a look at the weapon in his right hand, the Shotel. Look familiar at all? He is absolutely the precursor in, sh in shape, in form, and in tendencies as Knight Lotric in Dark Souls 1. Now, Knight Lotric doesn't go and kill all of your NPCs, but he does kill your Firekeeper, Anastasia. Thank you. I will remember this. I am certain we will meet again. And if you like his armor, you can get it. Okay, so it's not... Oh no, it is that elevator! Oh no! Actually, it is possible... Well, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I was gonna say, it is possible to get on top. Or at least I think it is. Do you think I can survive this? Hmm, darn, so close. Well, time for another run back. This is the one I can now take? Aha. So that was my problem. I didn't realize that it actually took a moment for the door to start shutting. So don't be like Blue. Just be patient. Also, I am fairly certain at this point that I've actually missed Ostrava's gear. But I'm not entirely sure. There's a, there's a balcony that you can drop off of carefully in order to get it. And I just don't know if I missed that now. Alright. So now we are in the absolute murk and the mire. Need to be a little bit careful here. There are some creatures running about, but I know that there are some items hidden down here in the base. So before I climb anything, do you want to run around and look for those? Just be careful. Every now and then I'm going to try and, and target to make sure that there's nothing... Nothing in here that can kill me. What I should do is be methodical about this. Maybe just hug the right wall if I can. And where are you leading me? Nowhere, unfortunately. That would have been a great place to hide an item. Oh, I think I just saw one, though. Let's drop. I think I saw a shiny over here. No, did I not? I really not? I thought I did. I love the ambiance in here, though. It sounds like you're actually in a swamp. There are there are insects chirping. It sounds to be maybe a frog, which is pretty cool. Although, this water makes it look like maybe it's not just water, but maybe blood of everyone that they have been keeping captive in those cages. All right, here we go. Here's something. Ah, the Fragrant Ring. Hey, guess what we already have because we started as royalty. But that increases your magic regeneration, or provides magic regen, I should say. There's another shiny over there, but... Ah, okay. Oh, jeez. Remember, we encountered one of these in 1-1. So we're going to have to... Hit him a couple times and then back up. Hopefully we can get him to bleed. See if we can trigger some magic. There we go. Once again, trigger some magic. Hmm. Doesn't look like they want to bleed. That's okay. I was able to get three hits. Three more might actually do it, but now I'm in a corner. There we go. Just two more hits. Done. Some Mercury Stone. More Mercury Stone. There's another shiny over there. And I did try to climb that ramp, and I don't know if that was actually going to get me somewhere or not. I don't believe it 
does. But maybe we'll climb up just to be safe, because I think that's everything down here in the water. And if there isn't anything up here, FromSoft, what were you thinking? Not not hiding things here. This is perfect. Although I'm getting pretty high up here now. And it's getting very narrow. Mm -hmm. I don't know much further. No, 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 no. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. If there's something at the top of it, you can tell me what it is. And then just be sure to tell me that it's not worth it because I'm too afraid to actually continue on. Oh, boy. All right. Let's see. So we've been methodical. We've been hugging the right-hand side. I don't think I can just climb up this. Right now, I do have to find a ramp. I do. Unless I can climb that. Nope. So that is one of the elevator cages. Okay, there is a giant centipede. They shouldn't be too much of a problem. Do just have to watch out for their tail stab. Where do I get up now? There's another giant. Oh, right here. So that's just a little one. They're not too bad. So now we just have to follow the boardwalk. Lighting. I wish we had more options. A torch would be nice. Something like cast light would also be good. Is cast light a thing in Demon Souls? I don't know. I don't know if it is, but I would love it in a section like this so I could just see just a little bit better. All right, there's the, oh, there's something up there. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, be careful. There we go. So you can actually kill them in two different pieces, which is interesting. There's another little centipede up there. Okay, I think I vaguely remember how to get that piece that's above me. We will see if I actually remember or not. Don't fall off, though, because then you have to run around. There's no easy way back up. Hoggerhead of Guidance. Oh, yeah. So I just go right there. No big deal. I just have to be careful of this guy. Oh, Nelly. Okay. Broken two and finish him off. We have got this. So balcony goes that way with another ramp and another... Oh, hi, little centipede. Disgusting little creature. And this ends up being another stone. Okay, all right. I'm okay with those. We do need to collect them. But before we go up, since I believe that's the way forward, we will go this way just to make sure I'm not missing anything. Well, you fell off, so now I don't care about you anymore. I know. My feelings for you are quite fickle. And... Do, 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 do. Another little one. Hmm. Not really seeing anything else item wise. So I don't know why there's such a ta oh, never mind, never mind. Or did this just lead all the way around? No, this is new. Goodbye. Ah, the ring of disease resistance. So this actually increases your plague resistance. Could be useful could be useful coming up once we get back into the Valley of Defilement. Excuse me, weird tendril artery thing. All right, now to run back, because I think we've cleared everything down here now. Now I just have to make my way back to the land. Which is right here. All right, so now let's get out of here. There's gonna be several more centipedes. In fact, centipedes are actually coming from that giant demon art. Oh, by the way, bone wheel skeleton maybe, hmm? That is actually an old torture device where you are actually put inside a wheel with all these spokes and your limbs are systematically broken. Pretty horrifying. So you can see just why those skeletons that are stuck in the wheels, they're not too happy. They're a little bit, a little bit upset. A 
Now, we do have a few here. One at a time is ideal. I did not get one at a time. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I'm alive. So that's good. And maybe, actually, if they want to follow me, then I don't have to fight them up there. I was actually hoping I could be slick and kind of roll by them. That did not happen. Is this something I can go up? No. No, it's not. Well, darn. Now I need to find that ramp again. Well, which didn't take long at all. Let's see if maybe now they're in a better position. I hope they are. I hope they are at least. Also, I have sun now coming in from the window behind me. Makes this area even harder to navigate. Even harder. Alright. Oh, no! <laughs> ah. Sometimes the momentum in this game is, is a little bit janky. Carries you forward just a little bit more than you would wish. At least it's such a beautiful area to explore, right? It's not disgusting or disheartening. You know, my hopes and my dreams aren't being shattered at every step. It's really quite quite pleasant. Now, where's the other one? The cage there. Wish that was a shortcut. you can't go that way there is one more I can do with one more especially if I can just get around to this get around to the side well didn't let me do it that time and you fell that's unfortunate oh you actually died from that fall that's not what I expected through the fog we go Checking every which way I can. And the beating continues. The beating continues until you actually drop the heart. Definitely some, some good motivation. Oh, pardon me. Didn't mean to bump into you there. So now we're heading slowly into... Oh! Into the next tower in order to break the next chain. All right, I really, really need a backstab here. You can see just how much help these guys have. I don't know if I can chain it. Still might not be dead. Now you are. But I think there's another one, so I have to be careful. Luckily, the Thief's Ring does make this a little bit more possible. If there's not another one on these stairs, there is another one on another staircase. Okay, it looks like it's going to be another staircase. Oh. Rip. And welcome to the world of Demon Souls Runbacks, where they just get longer and longer and longer the further you get into the level, which makes sense, I, I am aware, but uh, unfortunate nonetheless. Well, the good news is I get to deal with the Soul Flayer again. Ooh, but I actually just made this a little bit difficult. Okay, time to run, time to run, time to run. I will take him out, but I had to get some distance because any other hit was going to kill me. Ah, you know what? I'm not going to take it out. <laughs> All right, centipede. Ugh, that jump attack. I had no idea it was going to one-shot me like that, so I guess I'll approach a little bit more cautiously. 
and at least have my shield at the ready. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Even those guys with that tail poke, probably gonna do a good bit of damage. Now there's a crystal lizard coming up. Problem is, yeah, right there. Also right near a centipede. So, for sake of survivability, guys. Oof, ouch. Oh, d -d 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 forgot about the second. Also, why is that soul flare making a noise? I thought he was actually following me. Doesn't doesn't seem like it. All right, now can we get this crystal lizard? What I want to do is oh oh no 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 try to corral. Yep, get him stuck. No 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 get you stuck. A couple of R2s are good. Keep you stunned. Probably gonna be some stones I don't even use, like Mercury or Moonlight. Haha, <laughs> look at that. Oh, but I got a pure. Alright, never mind. That's actually kind of cool. In case I ever want to go for the Platinum Trophy, I just got my pure Moonlight Stone. I don't know if that's a guarantee or not. Oh. Alright, time to. Ooh, 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 ooh. Sneaky, sneaky crossbow. Sneaky crossbow. Right then. That's a staircase with the soul flare, right? Yes, I can see him. So I think what we'll do is let's charge through. Hopefully lose the attention of the one with the crossbow. And then... Oh, no, 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 no. Run, 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 run. I'm actually glad I have his attention because I shouldn't, fingers crossed, have attention of the other... I do, I do, and he's the crossbow, and I missed an item. Are you gonna still follow? You are, my goodness, you're tenacious. But, I might just have you now. Sam and I recharge, and... Oh, you're not dead, there we go. Oh boy. Oh, boy, boy, boy. Now I need to go deal with the crossbowman, which shouldn't be too bad. Okay. Oh. Got the wall pretty easily. Am I safe now? Can I continue if that's alright? So this is the next tower that we have to climb. That will have... Oh! Have the other chain that's holding up the demon heart. Oh! Oh boy! All right, I think that that calls for. I didn't mean a dark moon grass. I meant a, a half moon. But oh, I wonder what my, what my HP was. I guarantee you, is very very low. Oh! Another elevator. Before we go up that, let's check over here. Another soul item. Anywhere to drop? No. This is just leading back around to the elevator. I'm going to try to look underneath. No, it doesn't look like there's anything there. But wait, did I just miss an item? I might take this back down. Although this is really tall. I'll take it back down once we're done up here. Jiminy Crickets. This is quite the elevator. Oh, oh, oh. Distance, distance. Here we go. Oh, and actually, oh no, that was the soul from this dragling. I thought it was a soul from the gargoyle. Number two.
here come all of the centipedes. Ugh. There we go. Step one complete. And can you even go up here? No, the staircase is broken here, so you can't go there. I don't know if I'm actually going to take the elevator back down or not. Those are both statues. Oh, look where I am. This is the big. <laughs> this is that item that I saw that I wasn't sure how to get. Oh, look at that perfect little shortcut. Excellent. Excellent. So now that the heart has dropped, that has opened up a couple of areas that we can now go explore. I do want to go and explore where the heart just dropped because there is some good loot down there. Oh, but now we have the added pleasure of the centipedes who are going to hang out with us a bit. Oh, oh, okay. Well, then I don't need... Oh, you are just really anxious to chase aren't you oh oh careful wow he is very very interested but i think maybe he finally got stuck now the one location was that this way was it this way i think it might have been might have even been over here. I'm not sure. It seems right, because I do have more centipedes. Oh, and I have a gargoyle, though. I don't want to fight both. Don't want to fight both. I might be fighting both, though. I don't know. How's that working out for you? What? What happened? <laughs> that was different. That was odd. He was jumping and would have killed me. He was jumping and would have killed me. So this, I think, is the way down to where the heart actually landed. All right, Gargoyle. Please, please be good. I need to get... Oh, see, that is not the move that I'm looking for. Oh, boy. That up R1 is so dangerous. So dangerous, yes. Right in here to the right, I believe, is now... Uh, well, it's available. Not exactly a, uh, a pleasant way to go. Finish with the flurry. There we go. So now, this has been somewhat deflated, and we can walk around it to loot. Just have to be very careful because there are a number of skeletons, both big and small. Maybe don't get too fancy there. Aha! The Epe Rapier and the Gold Mask. Gold Mask is actually a pretty cool looking piece of armor. else the ring of avarice there we go so don't buy the ring of avarice previously i think it was what fifty thousand souls now you can actually just pick one up for free here oh that went really really well almost clear sneak around I can but it looks like that's it that's it there we go we are done I don't need to go that way I need to go up now all right perfect hmm I still don't know where Ostrava stuff is fairly certain that I've run right past it probably more than once even because again there's a balcony that you just jump off of so let me know. I have no problem doing some backtracking to go and get it. I just can't remember at the time where it is. But for now, we do have... Oh, 
Sorry, friend. For now, we do have a very challenging boss coming up. And actually, just getting there can be a challenge because we do have at least one more Soul Flayer, if not two. So we have to be careful there. And we probably have some more centipedes waiting for us. Maybe not. Maybe not. So this way was blocked. And now it is completely open to us. Well, let's look around here. Make sure that the drop isn't just right in front of our eyes here. That's the way up to the boss. I don't see any balcony below to jump down to, so I guess not. Alright, that's okay. That's alright. Now, oh jeez. Such a narrow, narrow walkway. Such a narrow walkway to fight on. You can see there's the lantern up there, so I have to I have to get backstabs. I'm gonna have to backstab, run back, have them lose attention, and then do it again. Fighting them head on is, is a certain death sentence. I don't know how far you're coming though. Jeez. Right there? Okay. I can deal with that. Quickly, quickly, quickly. There's the backstab, and there's me running away like a coward. And he's already lost interest. Um, this is going to be close. No, maybe not. And oh, are you getting thrown off? Yes, you are. Rest in pepperonis, friend. Now, is there another? I don't know if there is another or not. The problem is, this is the run back to the boss every time. So if I don't get a first try, which I'm going to tell you right now, I am not in any way, shape, or form expecting to get this boss first try. Then I have to run back through this each and every time. Is there another one? Am I still just climbing? Or is that it? It might have just been the one. Because I think this is actually it right here. Yep. That's the Maneater boss arena. But there's got to be something hiding over here, right? Yeah, there it is. What do we have? Blue Eye Stone? No, Old Spice. Did I already get the Blue Eye Stone? I can't remember. Right, so, the Maneater. Precursor to the Gargoyles fight in Dark Souls 1, where you start out just fighting one, and then once you've damaged him enough, the second one joins the battle. Here's the thing, I think I'm going to leave the Thief's Ring on, but you can encounter a glitch because the Thief's Ring will actually lower the aggro range of enemies, and because these enemies actually fly in and during the fight will actually take off and fly around you, the Thief's Ring can actually be detrimental and actually cause you to be at a stalemate. If they actually fly off and lose interest in you because of the Thief's Ring, that's it. You have to just quit the game use something to actually leave like one of the uh, the Nexial bindings or uh, a shard of archstone otherwise they're never going to come back if you have a range option sometimes you can pull them back but more often than not that's just it that's the end of the fight so i'm going to go in with the thief's ring there is a technique that i know of that if i can get it to work would be great it's a way of separating the two of them but i just don't know if it's uh if it's going to work or not now i am going to put on some turpentine because they are a little bit weaker to fire. So we'll do black turpentine. And blocking is really not going to be helpful, so let's just go. So here's the first man eater, straight ahead. What is he doing? I don't. Oh! That was a really good opening. Uh, that's not good, though. Come on. What are you doing? Where is he? Are you flying away already? Ground pound. Oh, and I'm dead. Wow. That... This is going to be interesting.
Now, he did that charge. I might be able to now separate them? There's a way of actually doing it, so you actually cause one to stay on one side of the brazier and one to stay on the other, but I don't think this guy got that memo. Oh, Nelly, watch it, watch it. So let's, let's just keep going. Now there is kind of a safe spot next to the stairs. So for you range users, if you go and get that item, you're rather safe. Uh-oh, I don't know where he went. If he's flying around, I might have just forfeited this fight already. Uh-oh. He's right here. That's interesting. He's kind of below the arena. I might have to hit him with magic eyes to get his attention. Well, no, I have his attention. He just doesn't know how to get back. Hmm. Can I hit you? Yikes. Wow, wow, wow. Oh no, the other one's already here. The other one is already here. Yeah, this is this just went went very badly very quickly. I'm going to attempt to run and uh, and see if I can get any sort of separation, but I tend to think I'm now in trouble. Okay, I see one. I don't know if I see a second one right behind him, though. It look... Are they... Oh, no, no, they're both here. They're both here. They're both here. Oh, goodness. So it is, I believe, percentage of health or time. And you can see it's not a lot of time before the next one actually shows up. All right, the other one is now flying, but he's just taking a shortcut. Oh my goodness, how am I gonna do this? How am I going to do this? Okay, <laughs> that's gonna take a little while, huh? Don't fly, don't fly. Just land, because I think it's just you right now. Oh, nope, it's not just you. Uh-oh. What is my plan here, guys? What is my strategy? Is there a strategy? Oh, Nelly. Do I have any sort of strategy available at this point? I don't know that I do. I see you. I see both of you now, unfortunately. And unfortunately, that wasn't even the one that I've actually hit before. Alright, couple of hits. Well, might just be a little bit, oh jeez, a little bit of, you know, rinse and repeat here. I do have the Thief's Ring on, right? Because I don't really see its effect happening. Hmm, uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, that charge attack. I'm surprised that one didn't get me. Ooh. Oh, man. I wish I was behind you right now. That would have been a perfect opportunity. Oh, stop doing oh, that forward R1. Where are you? 
Oh, are you? Did you just buff? Is that something that happens? You look... You look a lot more dangerous. And I am completely trapped. Oh my, 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 my. Guys, I have uh, not even 5% of their combined health, I would imagine, at this point. I mean, this, this works, but it's slow. And I could use the turpentine, but... I feel like it would be a waste because I'm only getting one, maybe two hits in. Oh, no, no, no. I could have gotten a hit there, but I was too afraid. Running, mm, running out of healing items. Ouch. Mm. That actually felt like a good attempt. Alright, it's time to get serious. Now this is actually post-commentary because I decided I really had to focus on this boss fight if I was ever going to make progress. So a few things that I did. Obviously you just saw that I switched to the Clever Rat Ring, which anytime you're under 30% HP you'll get a 50% damage buff, which is huge. I did also buy, and I just used, the Enchant Weapon spell. I bought that from Sage Freak. And then the other thing that I did was I actually farmed the Hoplites in 1-2 in order to get enough Sharpstone and large shards of Sharpstone in order to get my Scimitar up to plus 5. Now, as you can see, I have a very small amount of health left, but the damage I'm doing on the Man Eaters is significant. So I'm going to let you sit back, watch, and enjoy as I finally take these guys out.
and Tyler Jack Med is now online. Fantastic. But the man eaters are destroyed. Finally, it took me far too long and far, far too many attempts for them to finally, finally go down. But I am rewarded handsomely with 13,000 souls. There's also a couple of items here that I need to pick up. You can see me walking very, very proudly. Over here on this ledge, which is the cheese spot, if you do need a good location, you can get the Moon Short Sword plus one. We do have one other item to pick up. Now, I do stop here to actually take a look at the Moon Short Sword. This is actually just a short sword that has been upgraded along the moon path. You can see it does gain some magical attack. You can read the description here, although it is just the description of a short sword. Nothing special. Right here to the left, I just ran past it. Come on, blue. You know better than that. There we go. Over here on this corpse, I didn't dare pick it up during the fight. You do have four full moon grasses. And before I actually touch the Archstone, I will grab these two soul items, but now, as I touch this Archstone, we will get the Mixed Demon Soul, which is one of the most useless souls in all of Demon Souls. Yes, you can consume it for just under 20,000, so in that right, it does have a good use. Or you can trade it to Blacksmith Ed for the Needle of Eternal Agony, which is kind of a joke of a weapon, although it looks really cool, and it will actually leech souls out of enemies. But the damage is so bad, I dare you to use it. But now, back in the Nexus, I actually run over to Sage Freak. I wanted to see if I could get anything with the Mixed Demon Souls, but I now know better. Bravo! You have brought more Demon Souls to me. Thank you. You are a fine magician. Let me pass on further, Arts of the Wand. I am one step closer to the essence of the Demon Soul. Our human potential is great. I am fully prepared. But there's also been a change to the Nexus. You can see as soon as we start climbing the stairs, there's actually a corpse with a soul item on it. Very interesting, kind of a nondescript NPC there. And as we keep climbing, we can see another shiny off in this corner. Once again, soul item, nondescript NPC corpse. And if we run down here and we look in the corner, remember that NPC we freed just a little while ago? I am indebted to you for your help in Latria. Without it, I would not have made it back to the Nexus. Now I can go on with my work. And for that, I must thank you. What is it? I have no business with you. Not yet. Do not be concerned. Life is hardly as precious as one might think. I have no business with you, not yet. But we're actually going to have some business with Yurt the Silent Chief in just a little bit, because if we don't, some of those NPC corpses that are going to turn up maybe won't be so nondescript. But that is going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. I am so sorry that it took as long to get out as it did. But hope you guys are still enjoying, and Silverius and I will see you next time.